Vikas. From somewhere in Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Oh, my God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. And I am looking at uh, still another advice column. And this one happens to come from Match.com. You got to love that match.com. You got to. Even the homely and undesirable have a right to find true love. Got to love them for that. They have uh, an advice column called Ask Lynn Advice on Love by somebody named Lynn Harris. What are Lynn's credentials to be doing this? Oh, nobody really knows. <laughs> Who is Lynn Harris? Does anybody know? Does anybody care? Does it say here at the bottom of the column? Let me take a look here. Does it tell us? She's co-creator with Chris Kalb of the award-winning website BreakupGirl.net. You can visit BG's blog to discuss this letter. Okay, BG, I guess, Breakup Girl. She is also the author of the new comic novel, Death by Chicklet. She is a journalist and essayist. Okay. Here is the question sent to Dear Lynn at Match.com. Here it is. Dear Lynn, what do you do when you meet online and you hit it off? As in you actually had so much in common that you were stunned. But then, after six weeks of talking, anywhere from four to ten hours a day online and by phone. Yeah, talking. <laughs> the other person sees a picture of you, which you've been hiding for six weeks, by the way. <laughs> and says, you're pretty, but can you call again when you lose some weight? <laughs> And believe me, he was lying when he said, you're pretty, darling. He was just being nice. Now get this. Says here, and she believed it, we were actually planning and talking about moving, marriage, the works. I guess she meant moving in together. Now we talk every once in a while. He wants to, quote, be friends. And, quote, see how the weight thing goes. <laughs> what gives? That's the only problem he saw in me. And she signs it, is beauty only skin deep? Darling, sweetie, let's review. You withheld a photograph from this guy for the first six weeks you were chatting with him because you know your fact. That is why you had six weeks to bond over all these wonderful things. Because he didn't know you were fat. And you knew you were fat and you didn't want him to know you were fat. So here you are, this butterball, this blimp, and there you are. Chit-chatting with this guy without ever actually showing him what, what the goods look like. 
and now you're shocked at how shallow he is. Well, first of all, you hardly know the guy, and you've already been concealing things from him, like what you look like. You can hardly say you're surprised. That's the amazing thing here. If you were hiding your photograph for six weeks while you were chatting with a guy online, uh, you know why you were hiding your photograph from him, because you're fat. I mean, it seems kind of disingenuous now to act all surprised that beauty is only skin deep. And your skin runs pretty deep, sweetheart. You have got to be kidding me. How can you act shocked? You, you know what? If you were shocked, I would believe it. If you showed him the photograph the same day you met him online. Like you said, here's a photo. Zoop, you sent it to him. And then, then he would have had a chance to comment on it at that time. But you didn't. This was a game designed to draw the guy in, to make him care about you, to make him hot for you, before he had any idea what you looked like. And then you thought, like every woman who thinks she can change a man, that after all that chit-chatting about, oh, you like breathing? I like breathing. You like ice cream cones? I like ice cream cones. You like going to the park? I like going to the park. You like sunsets? I like sunsets. You like puppies? I like puppies. And after six weeks of that... You thought that he, by that time, wouldn't care about the fact that you were huge. So then you sent him the photo, and now you act shocked. Anybody think there's anything wrong with this guy's reaction? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Women are the biggest snakes there are. So you might as well get what you can and get rid of them before you get bit. It's the Tom Likas Show. 97.1 Free FM. SoCal's FM Talk Station. Tom like it show at one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. So we're talking about the Match.com advice column where a woman wrote in and said, oh, she's been chatting with a guy for six weeks online and they had everything in common. Wasn't it wonderful? After the six weeks, she showed him a photo and he said, well, <laughs> let's just be friends. Let's see how the weight thing goes. <laughs> Are women clueless or what? 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. If you're calling from another country, you're listening to us online, uh, there is an open line for you right now. If you call this number, the country code is 1, the area code 323, and then you call 520-6211. So the little international package again is 1-323-520-6211. Jessica, on the Tom Likas show, hello. Are you there, Jessica? Yeah, what's going on? Not much. Well, I just called to comment about uh, the whole Match.com situation. Man, look at this. I got a younger brother, and I always tell him if he talks to a girl that he meets on MySpace, if it's a friend of a friend that's hooking him up, ask her what her pant size is. If she's wearing a, if she tells you, I'm not fat, but she's wearing a, a 15 or a 13, then you know she's a heifer. <laughs> right? Yeah, well, women have a very odd idea of what's fat. Well, I mean, fat is if if you have to take a breath when you bend down to tie, to tie your shoe, then you know you're fat. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But, I mean, I'm the same way. If I if my friend tells me, hey, uh, I got this guy I'm going to hook you up with, I'm going to ask him his stats. I'm going to ask him, you know, what pants size you wear. I, you know, if you want, if you tell me he's wearing a, a 52, then I know that. You could ask a woman, can you check, you could ask a woman, can you check yourself out for genital warts without using a mirror? <laughs> When's the last time you looked down and saw your junk, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Do a little self-examination. Ask him if when he's eating, he sweats. <laughs> there you go. That's a good question. <laughs> Those are all important things you need to know. Boy, oh boy. I, I, can you imagine a woman try chatting with a guy online for six weeks without sending a photo? Then she's shocked. Then she's shocked when she finally sends him the big fat, fatty photo. And she's shocked that he's so shallow. Yeah, well, you know what? It's it's a shallow world. 
you're not going to find love by, you know, if you go to a club or go wherever, you're not going to see somebody and say, you know what, they look beautiful on the inside. Let me go talk to them. Well, the thing is, guys have to get aroused. And, and at least this guy, at least the guy in the letter said, well, we can be friends. You know, most guys, I, I'll tell you what, I don't have time. I got enough friends. I got no time for more friends. <laughs> Well, I, you know what? That girl, she should have seen it coming. She obviously should have seen it coming. If she, if she's looking for love on Match. dot com, anyways, then that's that's a red flag right there. That's she right. Know better. Doesn't that tell you something? If she was good looking, she would have met somebody at anywhere else besides the internet. Wow, I think you're right. I all I'm saying is the guys out there listen to Tom Likas one hundred and one. If she doesn't wear a size eight or smaller, then you probably got to cut her loose. Find yourself a new one. Sounds good right. to me. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Hey, can you take me out tribal style? African tribal style. I can indeed. Baninge, 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 so penza. Baninge, 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 so penza. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Erica on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Tom, I just wanted to say that I think that guy had it coming. He's a dummy. He's a dummy. Well, first of all, the guy isn't complaining. Well, I mean, okay, well, she... The guy didn't the, write in to complain. Well, then she's just... I mean, come on. It, I just think it was unfair of her, though. I mean, she should have given her picture up to begin with. I mean, and he was dumb, though, for just staying. That well, yes, I wouldn't waste crazy. my time chatting for somebody for six weeks unless I knew what they looked like. That six weeks wasted. That was dumb. I mean, and then for her to get her feelings hurt, she had it coming. She had it coming, too. She should have known better. I mean, give your picture up. If he likes you for who you are, great. If not, well, go to the next one. Exactly. There's no reason to cry over spill milk. There's too many men out there that will eventually like a big girl, I'm sure. I mean, go to that biggirl.com or something. You know, there's people looking for big women, <laughs> small women, all different kinds of sizes. <laughs> so I just wanted to say, um, I just started listening to your show. My brother put me on to like a week ago, and I've been listening every day. I mean, I'm calling right now from work. I have no business. <laughs> really? No business hiding the call. I have patients in the back. I work at a surgery center, so I mean, I have no business doing what I'm doing right now. I just wanted to call and uh, say I like your show. I like what you're saying out there. And uh, can you take me out, Kobe style? I certainly can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. You're a beat in my heart. Oh. You're the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. We're talking about the guy. It's a letter that came into an advice column on Match dot com. This chick who wrote in was chatting up uh, a guy for six weeks. Oh yes, and they had everything in common. It was going so well. So after six weeks, she sent the photograph of herself, and he finds out she's huge. So he very nicely says, "Well, we can be friends, and let's see how the weight thing goes." <laughs> And she is shocked that, that men think beauty is only skin deep. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Dave on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Doing okay, Dave. She had it coming. <laughs> she had it all coming. She should have been straight and forward from the, with the guy from the beginning. You never know. He could have been a chubby chaser. That's exactly right. You know, and... Hey, she had it coming, and but he is kind of a dummy. How can you spend six weeks talking to a girl and not ask her? Well, keep message? in mind, he probably was spent six weeks talking to twelve different girls at the same time. Hey, ask twelve different dimensions. I mean, that's that is <laughs> twenty nine <laughs> different dimensions. That's I mean, come on, that's how guys do it online. Who who puts all their eggs in one basket online? You've got twelve IMs going at once. Right. You know, at one time, I would have 12 IMs going at once, and I would try to get all the conversations to the same point so I could just cut and paste to all of them. Right. What are you wearing? What are you wearing? What are you wearing? What are you wearing? Exactly. <laughs> Hi. Cup size. Something. Do you have a photo? 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 <laughs> <laughs> all right, Don. You think it's easy. Can you blow me up? I certainly can. 1-800-5800-TOM. That is our telephone number. <laughs> Michelle on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. 
Hi, Tom. How are you? Doing great. Hey, the reason I'm calling is because I think you never know. I think that I actually am 5'9". I'm 120 pounds with long blonde hair. I used to fitness model. And I was sick and tired of men who were complete idiots hitting on me. And so I did not post my photo on my profile five years ago. I did write to five men that I found attractive. I only heard back from one of them. But he basically said the same thing that the guy you're talking about said. He said, you know what? Let's see if we have any common, you know, similarities. If we like to do the same things. If we don't, we can be friends. If you're lying to me or whatever, we can be friends. It's been five years. We're engaged, and we're both gorgeous. So I think that any woman that goes on and misrepresents herself, I, I can't even believe that that woman has the nerve to to bitch or say anything negative at all about this guy. That's just the way the world is. Well, but here's the thing. I, I can't believe that she's shocked because... You know, if if you didn't believe that men are that shallow, you would have sent him the photo right away. Absolutely. And I do agree with you, and I agree with some of your other callers in that the Internet dating services do make it easy for women and men both to misrepresent themselves. And so I think it's... I would be more leery if I were a man because I live in Portland and there are a lot of fugly women out oh, there yes. that lie about how they look. But if you're a guy, I mean, if you're getting laid on the side and you're having fun and you're following Like Us 101, what have you got to lose? You might end up with a hottie. That's exactly right. That's true. And get a lot of sex with her as well. <laughs> Anyway, thanks, Tom. Thank you, Michelle. Bye-bye. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Anka on the Tom Like You Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. I just wanted to let you know that I recently started the whole online dating thing. To me, it still kind of creeps me out a little bit. I tried the eHarmony, by the way. That is mostly personality. Or Match.com, it has nothing to do with personality whatsoever. Well, it's yes. All about looks. Anybody and who's so, geeky enough to take a test of their twenty-nine dimensions of compatibility? Oh, it was it was it was horrible. And then they all probably the all the guys probably all look like that guy in the commercial, Doctor Neil Clark Warren. Oh, they were yeah, well. No, actually, they were more like a little scientific geeky. I'm in the Orange County area. They all resided or worked in the Irvine area, which is known for like software development and very techy guys. People that I wouldn't even, honestly even look twice that like yes. i keep on walking by they're in the five foot four range i mean i'm average looking by the way isn't know, that website for people who isn't that website for people who want to get married well you know i thought i'd try it out because it looked like it was an honest website i'm not into trying to get married or anything i thought maybe i'll meet some quality but guys i think they I'm screen you for that I, I think they screen you for that and if for example i i read somewhere if you're divorced they won't accept you you know i actually i met a few friends that did um actually Oh, I have calling a big deal. <laughs> anyway, that did apply, and they got rejected. I'm like, how do you get rejected from eHarmony or anywhere else? But I actually, I actually got in. I was very surprised. Well, I, uh, I wonder about that. But again, have you never been married? I've never been married. I'm single, and you know what it is is I do have my pictures posted, and I believe that people do look at it. And but wait, are you are probably. you open to marriage? Did it ask you that question? It must have. Yeah, yeah. I mean, ask all those questions about how many kids you want to have in your future and your match and all that. And I got all these matches. I went out on like four dates. Nothing came about it. Um, they were kind of average and they were the cutest of the pick. But, you know, like I said, nothing came about it. But for match, I mean, you could put, I, I just recently signed up for that. You could put your picture up there. Um, you know, you describe your body weight or, you know, physique if you want to as a little, you know, a few extra pounds or whatever it is, slender and all that. Obviously, she probably didn't do that. And the fact that if no one has a picture, I don't give them the time of day or I might request it. Well, also, you know, if, if, the, you know what, if, put them if somebody believes that beauty should be more than skin deep, let's see an entrepreneur start a website where yet you can't <laughs> post a picture. You're not allowed to post a picture. And let's see how many people sign up for it. Oh, absolutely not. It, yeah, that will fail. That will fail. Yes. Yeah, it, it's just it's just disappointing because even the pictures up there too, 
there's people that are like, those pictures are from 12 years ago, maybe 18 years ago. They look like spring break, and these people are in their 40s. So it's like, you don't look like that. Your physique doesn't look like that. And the picture is so out of focus, it looks like it was a scanned image and not like a true digital image from like a couple years ago. So even the pictures only tell a certain percentage of truth with this person. Good point, Anka. Thank you for the call. Appreciate it. 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number. John is listening to our online stream in Phoenix because the radio station was stupid enough to take us off the air where we were number one and they changed all the format that isn't doing as well as we were doing. Hello. How you doing, Tom? Doing okay, John. You know what? I agree with you. Stupid is right. Why did they take you out of here? The genius didn't do the yeah. right thing. We were number one, but what are you going to do? Well, I tell you, driving home with you every day was a blessing, but now we miss you out here. They should put you back on. Well, they should, but uh, uh, you have to remember the broadcasting business is, is run by men, and, and you know what, what men are like, right? We don't admit we made a mistake. It's the way it is. <laughs> well, I wanted to, to, to add a little bit to this fatty issue. Um, it, it's my understanding, if, I mean, I, I've not gone to any of these websites, but it, it's my understanding that some of the prerequisites are that you have to put your weight in there or your demographics, right? No, they do oh, not they ask. No, no, they don't ask for your height or weight on these sites. They don't. Well, they, don't. they ask you general questions like body type, you know, thin, average, and then, then the dangerous one, a few extra pounds. And, <laughs> and you've got to see what passes for a few extra pounds. Right. It's like a few hundred extra pounds. A few extra, right? Did she send a picture with that letter? Uh, no, I, I, I did not see a picture. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, in I, this case, I don't think it pays to advertise. <laughs> well, I just wanted to make it short and sweet, and and uh, I thought it was a prerequisite that they put weight, you know, in there. No exact guy, amount. Yeah, this guy should have probably uh, questioned her a little earlier instead of six weeks, but. Well, he probably thought she was 5 to 10 pounds overweight. Right. Not 50 pounds overweight. Right. Well, you got a dynamite show, Tom. Thank you, John. Appreciate yes. the call. It's 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Cameron on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Dad. Hi, son. Hey, I wanted to give you an answer for your question. I think this guy is an absolute idiot for his response to her. Yeah, which guy? I don't understand. You asked, uh, is there anything wrong with the guy's response? Well, with the guy saying, well, we'll see how the weight thing goes. I mean, for me, the only thing wrong with the response is why waste your time with somebody who's fat? That's, that's exactly what I'm saying. I mean, if, if, if uh, she wasted over 300 hours of his time on her, and then she's, she uh, turns out that she's fat, why did he even say, let's be friends or let's see how it goes? Why didn't he just straight up cut her off? Yeah, well, I think that's a good point. And yes, yeah, you're right. Technically, that does answer my question. I what, what 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 I was actually asking, and I should have been more specific, was uh, if there's something wrong with this response in terms of like why why should she be shocked? <laughs> she should be shocked. <laughs> she should expect. I it. mean, if she wouldn't let him see it for six weeks, there had to be a good reason. Yeah, and, and the good reason is that she's a cow. He should have caught on earlier. I mean, after a week, if, if I don't see a picture, even after a couple of days, I stop talking. Why wait? Right. <laughs> This guy must be a loser. Uh, no doubt about it. <laughs> All right, thanks, Tom. Can you take me out taser style? Uh, I certainly can. What did I do? Get off me. Get off my desk. Get the f off me, man. I didn't do anything. Don't tase me, bro. Don't tase me. I didn't do anything. Ow! 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 Oh, boy. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to uh, Brad on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. How are you doing, Tom? I'm doing great. I got a good story for you. Uh-huh. Um, I have a MySpace account, correct? And uh, I don't know. You're telling me. <laughs> I had this uh, chick try to get a hold of me, right? She just, I guess, was surfing the net and found me or whatever. And uh, she only had, like, a picture of her face up there, which really didn't look too bad, right? So I talked to her for a minute, come to find out she has two children, and she's also pregnant. And she she sends me a message that says, uh, are you okay with me having two kids? I was like, well, not really. I'm not really into uh, being a dad or anything. And then uh, she's like, well, I'm pregnant now, too, and I'm doing any day. 
So she asked me for my number. I said, no way. She gave me her number. And to this day, I haven't called her or tried to talk to her, and she still tries to get a hold of me. And uh, I went through her account and looked around, and every single picture of her, she's just a huge, huge bitch. Mm -hmm. It's disgusting. And here she is pregnant with some guy's child, and she's still uh, looking for more action. I think it's crazy. And she was due any day when she was trying to get a hold of me. I'm like, what are you doing, lady? Oh, my. She's ready. She's ready for her next pregnancy. <laughs> oh, it ain't going to be mine, Tom. I guarantee you that. I listen to you way too much to go through that stuff. I love that. <laughs> hey, Tom, can you take me out Freddy style with a quick getaway? Freddy Willite style. Here you go. I shot my wife in the stomach with 38. Why did you do this? It stopped in the middle. I shot my wife in the stomach with 38. Why did you do this? She enticed me and she ridiculed me throughout my lifetime. I see if she's alive. She's alive? She's dead. I think she's dead. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's Brent on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? Not much. Oh, hey man, I got a little story for you, dude. Okay, one time I went out like oh, twenty two, twenty three. I met this one chick. She's all I met her online, and I'm just like, ah, it's kind of leery because she told me she's a little overweight. I'm like, ah, uh, okay, I'll go for it. Dude, I ended up meeting her. She was like four hundred and fifty pounds, dude. And oh, with a mustache. Uh, a mustache. A mustache, dude. Oh, and you know what the, what, you know what the horrible thing was? What's that? I wasn't driving, dude. I didn't have a car at the time. So I was stuck with her. Oh, my God. Do you feel me? Do you feel me? I was scared, dude. I, you know what? I'd have gotten a cab. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, I am not kidding you. I, this is, I'm a first-time caller, man. I've been listening to you for I don't know how many years, you know. And but I just like I'm like I just felt compelled to call. Well, I'll bet you did. Tom Likas, one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom, one eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. All women are not whole bad. Oh, I didn't say all women are, but uh, an awful lot of them are. And the bottom line is. This way, you're free to do what or whoever you want. Wow, are you serious? That's right. Are you mad at that time? No, I'm not. Oh, my God. It's the Tom Likas Show. 97.1 Free FM. SoCal's FM Talk Station. Show. 1 800 5 800 Tom. That's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Our show comes to you from our nation's capital, Hollywood, California. 1 800 5 800 Tom is our telephone number or internationally 1 323 520 6211. That is the telephone number. We're talking about the poor schmuck who. Uh, was chatting up a chick for six weeks on Match.com. This chick wrote to complain that after the six weeks, she sent her photo and uh, he suddenly wasn't interested anymore. Wow, how shallow men are. Can you imagine that? He expected to be aroused when looking at a woman. And this woman thinks that uh, her rolls of fat would inspire an erection. <laughs> Dripping with sweat. Kind of that rashy thing going on in there. You know, you ever, uh, you ever get your mouth on a, on a roll of fat, boys? It's kind of got that salty thing happening because it's been sweating all day. 1 800 5 800 Tom. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Angie on the Tom Likas show. Hi, Tom. Hi, Angie. <laughs> I actually am calling because I used to totally disagree with um, the way men thought. I used to um, act, be very thin, and then I gained weight um, through, like, a period of depression. And I, I dated this guy from when I was, like, 19 all the way until I was 26, and after that I gained weight. And 
he expressed to me how much he did not want to go out with me after I had gained this weight. He didn't want to even have anything to do with me. I stopped talking to him. And I was really angry. I was angry at men that they thought like this. And I actually, after listening to you, I've completely changed. I've lost um, almost 30 pounds, actually. Um, and pretty much now I realize that men, even women, I mean, we're not going to go out with guys who don't take care of themselves, who don't love themselves, who who are overweight, who just, I don't know, I just don't think it's attractive. And I've just completely changed my attitude about that. And I just want to thank you. Well, I, 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 I certainly uh, say you're welcome to that. And uh, may I also say that, look, um, it, how can we love you if you don't love you? Exactly. Uh, exactly. Bottom line. Exactly. And a man has to get aroused. You know, men, <laughs> men don't get aroused by having, uh, you know, got cute little chit chats on the telephone or, or right. by email. Men get aroused by seeing you looking hot. Exactly. And not only that, you know, when you're overweight, you stop taking care of yourself. You don't care how you look anymore. I mean, it's just, it's not pretty. And I don't know why women still think that men should be attracted to them fat. I mean, it's, it's, I don't know. It's just, I, I completely agree with you, and thank you so much. In fact, you saved my sister's marriage, too. <laughs> really? So we both, yes, we both listened to you completely. We Imagine if I sisters. could have saved one of my own marriages. Wow. <laughs> well, that's okay. We love you. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. Thanks, Tom. Okay, bye. Bye. one 800 800 tom That is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to April on the Tom Like His Show. Hey, Tom. Hey. Hey, I love your show. Thank you. Hey, I'm 34, and I was on uh, eHarmony, and I'll tell you what, those 29 points of compatibility, they suck. <laughs> <laughs> they sent me fat people and ugly people and not really what I was looking for. Well, that's because you shouldn't be so shallow. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, fat people need ugly, uh, fat and ugly people need both too, just not by me. All I'm going to tell you about eHarmony.com is I have heard eHarmony.com with full half hour and I think even hour long infomercials on AM conservative Christian talk radio stations. Uh, uh, now you tell me if the listeners of those stations are the kind of guys you'd like to meet. No, thank you. I That's who's on eHarmony.com. <laughs> I've never listened to a Christian station in my life. Oh, I'll I tell you what. Two seconds. Working in the radio business, there's nothing more entertaining for me on a day off than tuning into <laughs> conservative Christian radio. I might tell you, dear, I see you're calling from Oxnard. I just bought a place up in Santa Barbara County, and Santa Barbara County is full of AM radio stations uh, for the gun rack crowd. You know, all these... <laughs> Conservative Christian stations, all these uh, conservative political stations and everything. Yeah. And that's where you hear the ads for eHarmony.com. No, thank you. They wouldn't last two seconds with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'd dump them and I'd push them out my door. Oh, yeah. While I'm driving 80. Oh, but those guys have guns. You better be careful. I have a gun, too, Tom. <laughs> really? <laughs> I can fight back. I love it. All right, Tom, thanks. Thank you, darling. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to David on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. How are you doing? Do you care? Actually, yes, I definitely do, because you have saved me from so many, including a divorce, and now I'm screwing around. Look at that. But, uh, I do got a story for you. That eHarmony thing, I was kind of curious since they had a uh, three months for like 59 bucks. I'm like, man, big deal, lose $50. <laughs> so I tried it and, uh, this girl ends up sending me, um, what is it, uh, some messages saying that she wants to meet me, stuff like that. So after talking to her and I seen some pictures of her, she was pretty cute. All of a sudden we meet up and she's like that, uh, marshmallow from Ghostbusters. Really? That was the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Exactly. Yes. And uh, I was just blown away. And we, yeah, at that point, I told her, my car's messing up. Let's go ahead and uh, take yours. So I wouldn't have to pay for my fuel or anything. And uh, You didn't want to, you know, you know why you said that? You didn't want to bottom out. Exactly. I'm like, I drove, uh, what is it? Uh, I live in Oxnard, so I drove all the way up to Valencia to meet her halfway. 
which was no big deal for me because it's not that much of a drive anyway. Uh huh. But when I got there, I just couldn't believe my eyes. Sorry, she has a pretty face. Other than that, the rest of it is just like, ah. And top it off, we went up to, uh, what is it, in and out to eat. <laughs> and, uh, did she order an eight by, did she go to, uh, in and out and order an eight by eight? Oh, it's worth, uh, a little close enough, but, uh, she had a vegetarian burger with a regular burger. And the thing that threw me off was when she ordered her fries, she ordered them animal style. Animal style? And I'm just sitting there. What does that mean? They fry them in lard? Yeah, they put the basically meat all over it and cheese on top of them. It's kind of like chili cheese fries. <laughs> I was uh, I was in disbelief and to wow. top it off, what is it? Uh, I didn't tell her where I live or anything because uh, I work here at the uh, as an aircraft tech. Right. So she she calls me the next day and she's like, "Oh, I want you to meet my dog," and I'm like, "What?" <laughs> and she tells me what kind it is and it's a pit bull. Oh, I'm like great. Uh, and since we're gonna dog. be since we're gonna be together, you're gonna need to get along with my dog. Exactly, and right, I just told her I'm like right now we should just be friends because uh, uh, I told her um, I got to get back in the gym. Just to, uh, basically, I threw some pointers out there to try to get her to, to hint to her that she needs to lose weight. Uh huh. And she was like, "Yeah, I need to go to the gym too." And I'm like, "No, but I really, I am. I'm actually gonna go." Yeah, unlike you, who says says you need to go to the gym, I am going to the gym. <laughs> exactly, and then to top it off, what was it? Uh, she came by um, to Oxnard area, and I was like, uh, it was on a weekend, and I was getting ready to take my boat out, and uh, she said, she was like, I'm in the area, and yeah, yada yada, and I'm like, oh, okay, and she's like, can I see you right now? And I'm like, uh, yeah, I was stupid enough to say yeah. No, so she she ends up uh, coming over. It's not to my house. So I tell her to meet me at my uncle's house, which he you know, he wasn't too happy about that. All that. So she goes over and she brings her dog and she's like, "What are you going to do? Take your boat out?" And I'm like, "Yeah, but thank God when I tried to start it up right there, the battery was dead, so it didn't." You might sink if you got on the boat with her. No, no way in hell she would sink. It she would be the anchor, Tom. That's right. But she, to, to uh, make a long story short, she goes back to her house and everything, and she tries to get me to go to some event with her. And I'm like, listen, I was straightforward with her. I'm like, to be honest, the pictures that you sent me, yeah, you were cute and everything, but you were a little overweight and not a little, a hell of a lot. But I just, just put it in nice terms. And then I told her, I don't mind that either that dog, but the fact that you treat your dog like a child, it doesn't, uh, it's not right. I'm a big animal lover myself, but... When you let them ride in the car and side with you, and just the smell and all. Yeah. Uh, finally, I told her, you know, just keep it as friends until you lose just a little bit of weight. Just a little bit of weight. <laughs> exactly. You're so just a couple of bowling balls like away, yes. But uh, I really do thank you very much for your services, Tom. You're making uh, every guy out there, and the, you're, sa you're saving us, basically. And uh, can you take me out with a screaming orgasm in Mexican style, please? I certainly can, David. Here you go. Oh, oh, God. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Gus on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, father. Hello, son. How you doing, baby? Doing great. All right, let's... Let me let me let me tell you something first. I can't believe how this girl could get upset about how the guy reacted. First of all, second of all, I feel totally bad for the guy because he had to deal with this kind of stuff. And he, I mean, you know, E Harmon, you know, twenty nine points of uh, compatibility. That's only for fat people. So uh, only, that's why only fat girls go on there and they try to just trick someone into wanting to be with them. <laughs> Uh, explain that to me. Explain it to me, Dad. Well, I mean, put it this way. eHarmony.com is for Christians and ugly and fat people um, who are having a hard time with the fact that, uh, let's face it, uh, we just read the statistic on the air recently. 30% of all women on online dating sites put out on the first date. 30%. Oh, my God. And we can't have that. Yeah. Unbelievable. 
Thank you for the call. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Look for us on MySpace. It's MySpace.com slash Tom Likas. The Tom Likas Show. Southern California's FM Talk Station. 97.1. Free FM. Stand by for a very important message. This breaking news just in. Due to popular demand and the overwhelming fact that the Off-Road Expo presented by Toyota in Pomona was the biggest ever and named America's largest off-road event, we've added a...